Hi guys, Palmer Car Audio. It's Saturday the 11th of June. The sun is out and we have our first VAG meet on today. That's right, anything Volkswagen Audi. Well, I guess that would include Seat and Skoda as well. There's a lovely turnout so far. The weather's great. Yeah, it's always good to have one old ball, right? We'll catch up with a few of the owners in a bit. Let's have a quick walk around and um, see what's turned up so far. Sanji's B9 RS4, again, great form SGNs and um, sitting on airlift performance. Lovely car, I drove this all the way to Germany a couple of years ago and I'll tell you what, what an absolute brilliant car that is. Proper comfortable, fast, loaded up the back and uh, yeah, it was great. Mark III TTRS, this looks cool. I like that. Got a few carbon additions to it, but yeah, that's really nice. I'm not sure what this yellow's called actually, but, um, but yeah, that's a really lovely car. Stunning car this, bit of an OEM plus look, absolutely mint, really nice. Look at that, look at that wide boy over there. That is mad, I'm gonna have to catch up with the owner of that one soon. Right guys, I'm here with Alex today. Yeah. How you doing, Alex? Uh, nice, good, thank you. Thanks for coming down, mate. Have you come far today? Staines, about 10 minutes. Oh, mate, you're down the road. Yeah. Awesome. Listen, I constantly see your car on Instagram, and I'll, on, I'll be honest with you, I think it works really well. It's a great looking car. How long have you had it now? Uh, Jan January 2019, I think I bought it. Yeah. No, 2020 I bought it. Just beginning of the coronavirus, that's when I first got it. Oh, okay. So yeah, two, three years almost. So tell us a bit about the car. Was it was it all stock when you bought I it? I bought or? it off a mate in Leicester. Yeah. He had it, it was his weekend toy, Sunday he took it out, coilovers only. Coilovers and an exhaust, oh, and okay. I've done everything since then. What, uh, what suspension are you running on it? Uh, the Airlift V2, yeah. my favourite. V2, oh, you need to upgrade nah, to 3P, I can't, mate. I don't do the 3P. Yeah, no, the, right. th yeah, the, the 3P is a great, great piece of kit. Um, it's, a, it's a lot smoother. Yeah. And uh, wheels, what, uh, what are you running wheels-wise? What are they? Uh, work for SHFs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are, these... they, are they polished or chromed? I think they're poli polished faces, anodised lips, but they've been polished by Wheel Unique. Oh, okay. But they're quite a rare fit when they're 5 by 100 so I don't have to run any adapters. Yeah, no, just yeah. Just space from the fronts. Yeah, that is nice. You know, Mark IV Golfs so are getting a little bit rarer now, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, it's not... And um, it, it's nice to see one, see, uh, see a nice, lovely, clean Mark IV. Yeah, going up Mark in price IV, as well. Yeah. Oh, mate, isn't everything? Oh, it's madness. Anyway, thanks for coming down today, no mate. No problem at all. So, yeah, another car on airlift performance. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, check, <laughs> check this out. Listen, bro, thanks for coming down today, mate. No How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, listen, all good, listen. man. You do realise this is a VAG meet, yeah? Yeah, so <laughs> it's built by Rover, which was owned by BM, which is almost VAG. So <laughs> no, no, it's I not. found a little space. BM's not remotely VAG. It's close enough. It's oh, close yeah, enough. it's German, right? Yeah. But yeah, listen, I, I've always said it's good to have an oddball car at every meet because it creates a talking point. Lovely, a lovely little mini head. Brilliant. Yes, appreciate it. Thanks for coming down. No worries. Jordan. Oh yeah, you're right. How are we doing, mate? Not so bad. We're thanks. here with Jordan in his Mark 6 Golf, and um, he's got a couple of speakers installed in it. It's absolutely mental, to be fair with you. Right, Jordan. Before yes. we talk about how many speakers and what you've got in here, yep. let's hear it. Right, okay, Let's yeah. hear this, right? Wow. That boy calls stress when he hold him. But he's still on free pitching to different. Who just said one drink or this us? Who this freedom them brush? Mate, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. First, I want to know how many speakers you've got in here. Right, there is 40 individual drivers, including the subs and the tweeters. So 40 individual drivers, yep. right? Yeah. And what make are they? Um, they're all Vibe, Vibe Audio. Oh, okay, yeah, so you've got the Vibe... Uh, Black Death. Yeah, Black Death components. Yeah, and sixes, um, the eights, and the bullet tweeters. And how many subs? 
Uh, four, four eighteens. Four eighteens. Yeah, they're squeezed in there. <laughs> Mate, honestly, that is absolutely mental. And uh, did you build the car yourself? Or? No, uh, I can't take any credit for that. It's all done by Tom Crown, uh, uh, Crown Customs. Oh, Crown Customs. Yeah. Tom. What an awesome build. <laughs> well done, mate. Um, yeah, we know Tom really well, actually. He's a good customer of ours. And, um, yeah, absolutely. This is absolutely mega. I must say the base feels quite controlled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the cones don't move a lot at all, really. Even on 30K, yeah. they're not really moving. It sounds massive. If you if you see this car at a show, make sure you speak to Jordan and get a... Um, Jordan, right? Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, sorry. Oh, <laughs> um, I've not had a coffee yet. But um, yeah, make sure you catch up with Jordan and... Um, you need to sit in the car and have a little listen. Absolutely. Listen, let's walk around to the boot. Yeah. What's in the boot? Then the boot floor was cut out and a custom floor has been put in. Wow. Um, it's all those uh, Lin Yong lithium cells put together. It's a 240 amp hour bank, uh, bank I think. Wow. Um, upgraded alternator to power it, running yeah. at about 15.4 volts to keep it topped up. Mate, awesome build is mega loud. It nice certainly cheers. cleared my ears out today. <laughs> uh, before we go, I just need to ask you, what suspension are you running on this? Um, it's Airlift uh, Slam Series on the V2 management. Awesome. Time to upgrade to 3P at some point? I would like to, yeah, yeah. I would like to. Well, let us know when you're ready and we'll get you hooked up. Sweet, nice one. Right. Cheers. Thanks Thank for much. coming down, mate. No Appreciate dramas. that. Absolute brilliant build. Thank you. Cheers. Catch up with you in a bit. We don't really see many massive audio builds anymore, but yeah, if you're working on a massive audio build, tag us. Let's get you featured. Let's get you on the channel. Guys, I'm here with Josh and his incredible Audi S3 8V, which I believe used to be grey. Am I right? Yes. Lovely. Thanks yes. for coming down, mate. No worries. Have you come far today? Um, South East London, Dartford. Not Dartford a million away. miles, but can be a bit of a pain when you've got to come up the M25, but Saturday morning should have been all right. But anyway, let's talk about your car. How long you had it now? Two years now. About two years? Yeah. I didn't really go mad with it until last July. Oh, okay. So. Was it a lockdown project or something? Or? More than anything, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It was mapped and everything before that, okay. but then that's last July was when it really sort of took shape. Okay, talk to me about the kit. What, what kit? I've never seen this kit on a on an A3. What is um, it? This kit is from Xenons UK, um, and it's made to fit this. Okay. But I believe it's the only one in the UK like it. I, yeah, do you know what? You might be right there. If you've seen another A3 with this kit on it, let us know. But um, this looks absolutely fantastic. And um, suspension? What are you what are you running? Airlift 3P. Told you what, number one, airlift 3P once again. All right, wheels? West Forged. Oh, West Forged, I yeah. think I see them at, uh, maybe Old at my dubs a few weeks ago, a uh, few, well, a few couple of months ago, a few months back. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, and what, what size are they? 10 and a half all round, but um, they're negative 40 offset on the rear, positive eight on the front. Wow. If you see Josh at any shows, make sure you come and check his, uh, make sure you check his car out. We'll put a, a link to his Instagram down below. Give him a follow. Mate, this looks absolutely, I saw you pulling in this morning, I was just like, whoa, that looks mad. <laughs> it's yeah. a little bit different when it's parked up and put on the floor. Yeah, so is this painted or wrapped? Well, this is wrapped. It's wrapped, yeah? Yes. Who wrapped it? Um, Identity wraps. Oh yeah, mate, they do an absolute, I've seen quite a few jobs uh, coming out of them, they do a really good job. I yeah. thought it was painted, to be honest with you, that's how good it is. That is absolutely amazing. Anyway, mate, thank you for coming down today. No problem. And uh, yeah, make sure you grab some coffee and whatnot, and uh, we'll Thanks catch you. up with you in a bit, all right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not. But I don't know if this is an original Mark IV Golf colour. I'm pretty sure Mark IV Golfs never came in this kind of like mulberry colour. Audi RS2. Porsche powered. Look at it. Lovely OEM example. Looks really nice. Mad. Sounds like it's pushing out some serious power. We're here with Alex with his uh, awesome 8P RS3, and uh, by the sounds of it, it's a bit of a powerhouse. So, uh, <laughs> Alex, thanks for coming down today, no, mate. Have you come Thank far you. today? Uh, Buckinghamshire, so not too far. Oh, pretty local. Fairly local, awesome. fairly local. How long have you had the car, mate? Uh, I've had the car three years. Yeah? Uh, yeah, so bought it completely stock. Okay. Uh, 22,000 miles. Wow. Uh, it's now on 44, so still relatively low mileage for its age considering it's now 10 years old mate they're still absolutely awesome cars now judging by the cage and all the 
or the, is that meth? Yeah, meth in the back. Yeah, meth in the back. Is it, do you track it? Yeah, so uh, done quite a few track events, done yeah. quite a few down at Castle Coombe. I was actually there two weeks ago. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's built for, built for track. And uh, just very briefly, what, what, have you, what have you done to it? How long have you got? <laughs> hey? oh, I was in that. I was in all that. Is it? So, um, so we've got intercooler, high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump, intake. Wow. Uh, we've got injectors, uh, coil packs, hybrid turbo. Uh, obviously the meth, uh, intercooler. Uh, apart from that, engine stock. Um, so, and then obviously you've got the meth in the back, bucket seats, uh, harnesses, uh, half cage, not just the, the little strut bar, um, big brakes. Suspension, so car's fully polybushed. Bit, uh, what, uh, what suspension are you running? Uh, B16s, Bilstein. Oh, okay, yeah, good Bilstein. setup. Yeah, those yeah are, it's yeah. good. They're solid. They are. I'm, I'm edging to know what sort of power are you pushing out. So it's uh, Storm Development Stage Three. Um, yeah. So it's 536 horsepower, 700, wow. 711 newton meters. So it's, uh, it's, it, it puts you back, puts a smile on your face every time. Oh, I can imagine that. And obviously, being a quattro. It probably sticks to the road, yeah, right? It, it puts it, it puts it down. I mean, uh, I haven't done uh, that. Well, I've, I've done a naught to sixty. The draggy was invalid, but it was like a three point one. So it's it's going to be around that mark. Uh, naught to sixty in around about three to three and a half seconds. Yeah. Now that's pretty impressive. If it was valid, I'd I'd probably say about three three around that mark. There's wow. a slight slight uh, decline on the uh, on the road, but it's uh, yeah. I mean, it's for, for track pulling out of corners. It's it's fast. Oh, I can imagine it's, that. It's uh, yeah, it's great fun. That is an absolute powerhouse. He reckons he does uh, 0-60 in about 3.3 3 seconds. That's quick. That is a quick motor. Listen, I tried to get Haps on the, on the channel, but he just wasn't having it. He's a bit camera shy, but I'm going to talk about his amazing B5 S4. Now, this car's had a full respray. It's been trimmed with pink interior. If you know Haps and if you've seen his previous builds, he does to go pretty wild and a hat off to him, mate. You always do a good job. So from what I know, this is running about 460, 470 brake. It's more or less RS4 spec, um, KO4 turbos. Check the car out. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's got a Cooler Works shifter in it. Pioneer double din. Yeah, man. This is awesome. I like this car. Clean. I just want to say thanks very much for coming down today. I hope you've enjoyed the coffee and uh, had something to eat. But um, just very quickly, um, thanks to Slam Sanctuary, we've got a couple of goodie bags to give away. I've got a goodie bag here for Alex in his RS red RS3 just there. Alex, come forward. He's done an absolute load of work to the engine. And uh, yeah, from what I know, it's actually pretty fast. Alex, you need to take me out on track on that. Nice one. Thanks for coming down. Thank you very much. There we go. Much appreciated. If you haven't had a listen to his Mark 6, have a listen to it before you leave. It's absolutely banging. But before you all leave, there's a wide bodied Audi S3 just over on that car park over there. And um, he gets the Maguire's prize pack. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming down yeah, and we'll see you next time. Brilliant. Have some more coffee and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time round. Thanks guys. Well, that's the end to another successful car and coffee meet. Um, I just want to thank everyone that came down today. We really appreciate it. And if you're watching this video, thanks for watching. Now remember, please like, share and subscribe so that we can keep bringing you the best content. If you want to keep up to date with all of our forthcoming, well, upcoming events and old events, you can log on to caraudiosecurity.com forward slash events and it, they're all on there. But for now, that's enough from me. I might go and grab myself a coffee now, but um, I will see you next time. See you later.